What's going on guys and welcome back to another MLB The Show 20 video and today we're going to be doing a home run derby except I do this every year, I do some home run derby type of series this year. It's getting serious. It's getting serious. I've got 32 participants. We're going to do a big March Madness tournament. This is going to take uh, take the place of March Madness. It's basically, you know, 32 teams. This each uh, each bracket is going to be a region. And how this is numbered off out of the 32, I picked four one seeds, four two seeds, four three seeds, and so on and so forth, all the way until four eight seeds. Um, and that's just based on their skill. You know, the better home run hitters, like the the first the first seeds are Joey Gallo, David Ortiz, Mickey Mantle, and Willie Stargell. And the eight seeds are Juan Soto, Jeff Bagwell, Gary Sanchez, and Duke Snyder. So you can tell by that. But uh, this is a selection Sunday. I'm going to let you guys know who the first one seed is. The first one seed will get matched up with the last um, second seed. So the first one seed is the best out of all the one seeds. And the first two seed is the best out of all the two seeds. Um, so just to keep it fair, the best first seed will go against the, or will get matched up in the same region with the last two seed. Um, if you're familiar with March Madness, this is, this is easy for you to understand. But for those of you that don't, um, then I hope you I hope you can figure that out. That the uh, worst out of all the two seeds is going to be matched up in the same bracket as the best one seed and you can have eight people in one bracket so uh, it's going to go best one seed um, it's going to go best one seed and worst two seed um, second th second three seed and third four seed and then back to uh, best five seed um, and, then, and then down that list so the number one player in this year's home run derby is going to be from the Boston Red Sox, old timer, just retired. David Ortiz, newly answered into the game. Uh, Babe Ruth's not in the game this year, so David Ortiz is the one seed of everything. And now the this is going to be the fourth two seed. This will be the East bracket. Um, two seed definitely earned this spot. Is another guy who has 99 power is Jimmy Fox, right-handed stick. The three seed is going to be. Willie Mays. Willie Mays Hayes is going to be in the three seed. And then the four seed of the East region is going to be Nelson Cruz. So let's go over to the Twins and get Nelson Cruz. So here we go over to the fifth seed. The fifth seed in the East region is going to be from the Los Angeles Dodgers. You know who it is. Cody Bellinger will be facing off against Nelson Cruz in the first round. So we got a nice little... Uh, a live series matchup there. The sixth seed out of this region. As I was saying, the sixth seed uh, is going to be where is he? He's uh, going to be Miguel Sano from the Twins. So each each uh, player has a power statistic. In the game, as you can see, to the far right of each player, and where is he? Miguel Sano's is very high. 95. One of the highest live series. Even though he's not a very good player, uh, Miguel Sano is a 6 seed. And the 7 seed is going to be Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones of the Braves, who uh, he's just actually on the uh, Beast, I think it is, right now. <clears throat> not a real team, just a bunch of these guys in here. Is going to be the seventh seed, and the eighth seed is going to be Jeff Bagwell right underneath him. He'll be taking on David Ortiz in round one, and that is your East bracket, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to get the South bracket started. This is going to be uh, played in some stadium south. Um, pro I mean, probably Texas' this new stadium just because it's freaking dope. Uh, but here we go. Number one seed is going to be, to no surprise... Joey Gallo, he's the second best hitter, uh, I think, in the game that you can use in a home run derby right now. Um, and he's going to be in the same bracket as his two seed, who is Pete Alonzo. So this is going to be a uh, current player, you know, live series, whatever you want to say, matchup here. Most likely we'll see Gallo and Pete. Unless the number three seed, who is definitely got a good shot of winning it all, Ken Griffey Jr., 
can, has something to say about it. Which, you know, honestly, I'm surprised that I, he's a 3 seed, but he's only a 94 power in the game. Everybody ahead of him does have 99 power or, you know, something above him. Uh, not and not uh, 94, something higher, you know, like a 95 plus. Um, but, yeah, Griffey is the number one 3 seed, so he's the ninth best player that you could pick. Uh, but he's definitely going to be a sleeper for a lot of people. And he's going to be in the same bracket with his number four seed, who is Eddie Matthews. This bracket is, I think, without a doubt, the most stacked bracket. Um, Eddie Matthews, the four seed. I think this is, without a doubt, the most stacked bracket. I think the winner's coming out of here. And I think each one of these guys, I think the top three, even Eddie Matthews, um, definitely has a chance of winning it all if... if uh, if this was the final, if this if this was the final four, I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. You know, like I would say, yeah, it looks pretty good, it looks accurate to me. Joey Gallo versus Eddie Matthews, Pete Alonso versus Ken Griffey is like, eh, it looks pretty good to me. You know what I mean? Uh, so now number fifth seed, this is Eddie Matthews matchup. It's going to be also right underneath him. It's going to be Stan Musial. Uh, number six seed from this region, the South region, is going to be right underneath him, Ralph Kiner, 97 power. As a six seed, uh, see like Griffey. I'm honestly was kind of nice to Griffey, but in the same sense, not really. I think it'll be the show's mean when they ripped him off with 94 power. Uh, the seven seed that will play Pete Alonso, who I think is a good shot of uh, upsetting him, is also on the same team. The groundbreak is going to be Luke Eric, and the eight seed is a <clears throat> my favorite to win it all, my favorite player of all time uh, from the Nationals. He literally is my savior. I love this man. He's the best. Juan Soto. I had to put him in here. He is the worst player, and I hate to say it, he's the worst player out of all these guys. He's the last, last, he's the fourth player in the eighth seed, which is the 32nd out of the 32nd player. But I had to put him in there. Um, that is what that bracket looks like. Let's go ahead and save that, and uh, <clears throat> we will go get into our West bracket. <clears throat> uh, here we go back on Selection Sunday after commercial break. We're back, we're going to give you the West region, and then we're going to give you the North region after this, but the West region, the number one seed from there is a player who was introduced to the game this year, and it is going to be a switch hitter, Mickey Mantle, third best power hitter in the game, uh, right there, in my opinion, Mickey Mantle, and the number two seed coming out of this region is going to be Reggie Jackson, 98 power. Half, has I, sh I you know I should have put him at one seed, but you just can't. You really can't with all the good power hitters. <clears throat> um, three seed going to come out of this region is Harmon Killebrew. There he is right there. And the four seed out of this region is going to be Bryce Hopper. Where is he? Is he an all-star? I don't think so. Ah, it's tough, man. It's ridiculous. Should have stayed on the Nationals, buddy. <laughs> Left my Nationals. You left my nationals for me, man. Come on. Uh, fifth seed out of this region is going to be Mike Schmidt. He's got 99 power, but not a very good power swing. That's why he's a nine. That's why he's a five seed. You know, honestly. Where is he? Mike Schmidt. Uh, Mike Schmidt. Yeah, honestly, 99 power. Definitely a good hitter, but he's not a you know home run derby kind of guy. So that's why he's a, that's why he's a five seed. And the sixth seed coming out of this region is going to be another live series. It's going to be Christian Yelich. Um, the, the seventh seed from this region is going to be another live series. And he's just about right here. Flip the page. It's J.D. Martinez with 93 power. They're, they're very generous to him with power this year. And, um, I mean, more than more than Yelich and more than Yelich and Bellinger is pretty crazy. And then the uh, eighth seed from this region is going to be Duke Snyder. Where is the man? The myth. The legend Duke. Dookie poopy. And here we go. Let's get this last bracket rolling from the south region. Here we go. So the first one seed, 99 power. Obviously, he's going to be coming from the old timers, from the groundbreakers, I believe. Uh, no, not the groundbreakers. It's going to be the boomers. It's going to be Willie Stargell, the one seed. Kind of surprising, but uh, he's, a, he's definitely a beast. And the last one seed. Or the, the second seed, who is the best, who's the first seed from the two, so the best two seed, which is the fifth best player, the guy who's last in line for one. If the if MLB the show was generous enough to give him 99 power, which they should have, which they should have, he'd be a one seed, no doubt. But I think this guy's a better player coming out of this region as a two seed, and it's going to be Frank Thomas. 
testosterone boy Frank. The three seed out of this region is going to be a guy I've never heard of, Dave Kingman. I don't know if he's a made-up guy, but he's got 99 power, so we're going to use him and we're going to put him in <clears throat> as the three seed. 99 power, you got it. <clears throat> Four seed is an all-time legend everybody knows about. 521 home runs. He's right above him there, <clears throat> Ted Williams. Um, and the fifth seed that's going to come out of this region is a best going to be the best player of all time. You should know who I'm talking about. It's Mike Trout, the fish. Um, now we're going to move to the sixth seed. The sixth seed out of this region is Willie McCovey. I mean, <clears throat> might seem surprising to you guys that Willie McCovey is a sixth seed. But here's the deal. They gave him 89 power this year. I don't know what that's about. He's got some. He's got some of the craziest home run numbers up here. 521 is uh, definitely up there. Uh, but they gave him 89 power. I think he's way more powerful than that. But against righties, he's got 99 power. So uh, if he's got a righty BP thrower. It's it's gonna be bombs away for the sixth seed in this region. He's honestly my favorite to win this region. Him and Frank. Him and Frank in the second round of this region is going to be entertaining. If Frank can get by this 7th seed here, who is definitely another surprise, a surprise pick for me to, to do something. If you can get by Frank and McCovey, I definitely think he's got a shot of winning it all from the Athletics. Matt Olson only got 87 power, but again, look at the stats against righty. He's 94, um, and that's who you're, that's who he's going to have to throw in BP as a righty. It's going to be bombs away again for Matt Olson in a, in a North Stadium. This is a North Stadium. I'm probably going to do like a... Uh, We'll see, like, uh, oh, man, who, what are we going to do for North? I mean, twins, that would be cool. Tigers, except that's not a home run friendly ballpark. It's deep, too deep for a home run derby. I mean, like a Yankees stadium would be pretty cool. We could do some old time stadiums, but, uh, yeah, each region is going to have a stadium from that region. East is obviously going to be Nationals Park just because it's the best stadium. I've been there like three times. Best stadium all the time. Uh, obviously, a little biased there, but... Let's get to this. Let's let's get to let's get to the business right here. The eight seed, the last player that will be making it is from the New York Yankees, Gary Sanchez. He's going to be the eight seed, taking on Willie Sargil, and I would not be surprised if Gary Sanchez beat Willie Sargil in the first round and went on to win it as an eight seed. I really just the thing that the thing that he's got 89 power. It, it slows me down. It's like I had to put him at an eight seed. I sell 88 power, and I'm like, I got, I got to put, you know, guys ahead of them. So that's what this is going to be like. That was just Selection Sunday. Um, stadiums will be out here soon. Now this is going to work is uh, we're going to take a winner. We're going to take a winner from each bracket, each region, and then we're going to do the final four. We're going to do a tournament of four. Um, of four guys, the winners. So let's, let's just say all one seeds win. Okay, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, then I'm going to do a tournament of four. So you're going to see me come here. I'm going to go to Home Run Derby. You're going to and make a tournament of four. And we're going to do Joey Gallo, Dave Ortiz, Mickey Mantle, and Willie Sargent. And play that out for the champion, see who's the Home Run Derby champion. But those guys might not win. But uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to know if you guys want me to stream this. Do you guys want me to live stream the whole entire tournament or, like, most of the tournament? Or do you want me to make separate videos with, you know, some games in there? And then uh, keep making videos each day, you know, like a March Madness type of thing. Uh, just let me know what you guys want in the comments below. Leave a like for this big tournament coming up here. It's going to be a chunk of content for me and, you know, probably over the next week or two um, with this Home Run Derby. So I hope you guys did enjoy the selection show here. I'll see you guys next time, and peace.